Hello friends, in this session we will understand a clear distinct difference between radian and degrees. So for that consider a circle such that it has a radius r and it is subtending an arc of same length as of radius r. Then as we had seen if it subtends angle theta then relation between theta arc and radius is given as theta is equals to arc length over radius so that is given as arc length r over radius r if arc length is same as radius then that theta is called one radian let us consider an example suppose we are having a circle and it suspends an angle of 360 degree so what would be its arc length its arc length will be the circumference of whole circle and it is given as 2 pi r so putting this in the same formula and finding out relation between arc length angle and radius we will be getting theta that is 360 degree is equals to arc length that is 2 pi r over radius so we will be getting it is equals to 2 pi radian hence the relation is 360 degree is equals to 2 pi radian consider a second example now we are taking 3 fourth of a circle for that an angle is 270 degree and arc length would be 3 fourth of circumference of a circle that is 3 fourth of 2 pi r and that will give me 3 by 2 pi r now taking it as an arc length putting in our same formula theta is equals to arc length over radius so I'll be getting that is equals to 3 by 2 pi radian so we got two relations over here first was for 360 degree that is equals to 2 pi radian and second was for 270 degree that is equals to 3 by 2 pi radian now let us reduce circle to 180 degree now for 180 degrees we can repeat same procedure that is arc length would be half times circumference of a circle that will give me pi r now taking it as your arc length i'll be getting 180 degrees is equals to pi radian so i am having three equations that is 360 degree will be 2 pi radian second result was 270 degree that was 3 by 2 pi radian third result was 180 degree that was pi radian similarly you can find out for 90 degree too and that will result it out as pi by 2 radian now taking any one result i'll be taking 180 degree that is equals to pi radian then what about any theta degree then relation we can get of radian with any theta degree by cross multiplying that is if for 180 degree it is pi radian then for any theta degree it will be how many radians so that will come out as pi by 180 into theta now if we repeat same thing by taking 90 degree if 90 degree is equals to pi by 2 radian then theta degree equals to how many radians so that will also come out as pi into theta by 180 so we can give general result as radian is equals to pi by 180 into any theta that is in degrees and similarly we can give result for degree 2 that is equals to 180 by pi into radian so this is a conversion chart for degrees and radians In degrees, we have 0 to 360 readings. 
then why it is required to again fragment it in minutes and seconds so there are reasons if we increase the distance let us say if i zoom on this pro circular protector then my one degree is again visible to me such that i can divide it into another parts and hence it was the reason why it was it was needed to divide it again in further 60 parts and that we called one part as one minute and further dividing one minute into another 60 parts will give me one second now this circle can further be divided into parts such that one degree would be equals to 60 minutes that means if we have one degree that would into 60 different parts and that is termed as minutes symbol of minutes is we can say 1 degree is equals to 60 minutes a dash on it and for seconds 1 minute is again equals to 60 seconds so 1 degree can be given as 60 into 60 that is equals to 3600 seconds so these are three conversions from degree to minutes minutes to second and degree to hope seconds. the concepts are clear for any questions you can leave in a comments below thank you